Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, I want to bring you another quick update on this market. Uh, show you uh, a chart that I've been looking at and <clears throat> a little frog action in my throat there. Not cut it. I just wanted to, you know, show you what I've been seeing. I like to do these videos to give you an overall look at the market and stuff and just show you what I'm seeing in the charts and share my vision with you what I'm looking at right here. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're new watching, and I will dive into this. But before I do so, I need to let you know, I'm not a financial advisor, get out. <laughs> These are just my own personal opinions on the market, so please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, we all believe, or well, a, a lot of people believe that we face this thing called the Wyckoff events, which is what you're seeing here. It was a certain... Uh, events and phases that we went through which was done by these big institutions <laughs> to try and accumulate and sell off people make them shook and you know make them you know make make, make them get more gains by buying more and accumulating more and obviously people selling off and if you look at the bitcoin chart like because i've been looking through like on google and stuff and looking for the wyckoff events it looks eerily similar i've made these bigger so you can see here so this is what we just played through uh, and it's basically the same chart what I'm just showing you here, but just more zoomed in, right? And um, you can see it looked literally spot on to this Wyckoff events. And this was before the drop happened, you see, because we were we were here back in uh, 17th of uh, May, right? And it was the 19th of May that took that disgusting drop down here. So it played out to a T. But most people are trying to wonder, you know, like I've got this as well so you can see it like this, right? Most people are trying to wonder what's going to happen next. Because when you look at this, you see the, the big picture close up to what we see here. You know, you've got the one, two, three, four, you've got the four points and you've got the, the sharp drop, which is what we had, right? And we're obviously going through a little bit of consolidation phase. Some people believe that we may see a breakout today with Bitcoin and stuff. If you're watching your favorite analysis, guys, and stuff, they, you know, I'm watching it as well. They believe that we will see a breakout. But I just want to prepare you both ways, because if it was to go up, great. We, you know, we can look at price targets and stuff. And if it's going to go down, fine. But I want to open your mind to the bigger picture because there could be a chance that we could still be in this Wyckoff events phase right now. And you, in order to really see this, you have to look at it from a bigger perspective. So I zoomed out. I zoomed right out. Uh, and this is what you see uh, here on this one here. I zoomed out because I wanted to see what happened before the Wyckoff. And we had this like this. We had some little like cons sort of like fall down and consolidation. Then it went right up again. And then it came down like this. And we've got this sort of like, it looks like a face. <laughs> like you've got the ear here. You've got the hair, like Bart Simpson hair. And then it came down like this, right? So I wanted to try and find something that looked similar to this. And this is what I found. And, you know, if you're a patron of mine, I'm just going to you know, put it out there. If you're a patron of mine, you guys saw this. I tried to keep you up to date. I think I showed you early hours, like one in the morning. You know, I was proper tired, but I had to do this because I wanted to prepare. I can't my words up. Wanted to prepare you. Just take a look at this, guys. It looks eerily similar. And it's all still part of this phase, this Wyckoff phase. Now... You know, I put some cer yellow circles here to show how eerily similar it looks. Now, I can't promise you it's going to happen. I don't know if it is going to happen, but it just looked eerily similar. And as you can see here, we had this sharp rise up on this thing here. I can zoom it in a bit. We had this sharp rise up here. Now, how do we zoom out? Oh, there you go. And then, as you can see here, sharp rise up. And then we had this sort of like fall down and consolidation phase. You can see here, like fall down and consolidation phase. And then it shot back up again. Now, they class these little blue lines as accumulation, like reaccumulation. So, this is where, you know, they do the sell off. They plan it, right? Let's all sell now. And then they sell. People panic. They reaccumulate. And then it shoots back really high so they can make more gains and this is where the smart money starts to sell off and all this red here you can see here look red strong hands selling whilst the weak hands are buying and you know there was a lot of people that came in over that month that bought a lot of crypto under the you know fomo action fear of missing out and they were buying all here and you can see it look one two three four there's four points just like this one two three four points again i'm not saying it's gonna happen but you can't deny the fact that it looks eerily similar and most people want to know what's going to happen afterwards so you see here 
the sharp drop down we've got a sharp drop down now we you know we've been seeing prices up and down up and down now i think we might see some more price action up i don't know but just be prepared guys that's that's all this video is about just be prepared because you know after this we see a fall down and then we see some accumulation now a lot of uh and alice analysis uh, guys are saying you know crypto analysis guys are saying that you know bitcoin could go down to twenty thousand. well this would make perfect sense to this chart here if it comes true i'm not again not saying it's gonna but it'd make perfect sense if we saw this fall down you know around to twenty thousand, and you know people start accumulating more now you've got a choice and i'm not forcing anyone to do anything but we have a choice we could either I'm not saying to do this or not. I'm just saying we could, we might have an opportunity right now to take profits. You know, pull it into, you know, some some tether or USD or USDC or something or you know BUSD and then let it drop and then put it back in. But you know, there's a obviously the problem of doing that is if prices, if this doesn't play out, because again, anything can happen. If this doesn't play out and it just decides to go up and up and up and up and it does this massive V-shaped recovery then obviously you're having to pay back all those coins that you've just put into, you know, a stable coin at a higher price. And some people don't want to do that because, you know, having like, for example, fans and Harmony and you take profits and then you, you <laughs> Harmony shoots up and then you have to pay again and you're only left with like 200 Harmony. It's a horrible thing to look at and go through. But I just wanted to put this on your radar like I uh, did with my patrons because I think it's important people pay attention to stuff like this and for me it just looked eerily similar and I think that we probably could still be in this phase I don't know time's gonna tell yeah time will tell give it a few weeks time will tell and we will see what plays out I mean ideally I would love for it to go up because obviously if Bitcoin goes up then we can obviously carry on with our journey but time's gonna tell let's just take a look over here and have a look at the uh prices as to what they it can go to i mean you've seen other analysis do this uh, uh, uh bitcoin analysis uh guys do this but i just want to show you what i see as well you know from top to bottom from the price here uh if you look at the price action if it was to break up this should be more straight hold on let me just get this more straight if it was to break up because you did it from the highest price to the lowest price in this triangle right if it was to break up you could see prices go as high as well it depends on when it where it breaks out right we could see prices as high of 50,000 that's 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 saying roughly uh 52,000 uh 53,000 dollars now again if it happens time will tell if it happens you know it's good it's gonna look good for everyone what kind of percentage gains is that let me just see if i can move because sometimes when you move this it, it grows and gets bigger and bigger yeah, it looks like it's getting bigger and bigger. Let me just put that back and work out the percentage gains. Uh, from here, from from 53 to here, you're looking at a, uh, let me just get measure it here, because I'm trying to measure it from here to here, right? You're looking at a 28.93% gain, right? Now, what would it be like if we saw a 28.93 drop? Let's just have a look, you know, because if it was to come outwards and come downwards, 28.93. Where's my little measuring tool? Here we go. 28.93 is, you know, right down here, uh, here. Uh, there we go. 28.93. You're looking at $25,000. So even though, you know, people think it can go down to 20000 I think that we probably see this $25,000. I mean, you know, 25000 if you look at this fib that I've got as well, you know, the actual blue line, the blue area of the fib goes right down to here, which is sort of $20,000. So I would look for those two things, see if it found some sort of drop to 25. And if it passes the 25, you know, it could come down right to this fib because then it comes into this blue fib, uh, fib area. And yeah, we could see, nine, it says 19,900, we just call it $20,000. But I'm going to pay attention and see what happens. There's a few other things that I'm looking at right now in this cryptocurrency space to see you know, how people are feeling and what's going on. You know, we are still in extreme fear. Well, according to today, we're still in extreme fear. And usually, when the market is fearful, people should be greedy. And that's that saying, be greedy when others, uh, others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. You know, that's, you know, this is the time usually to be buying. And that's not investment advice. I'm just saying it's usually the time to be buying. And yeah, obviously be uh, greedy when others are fearful. So when it is going up really high, you know, when you see these massive high prices in the charts, that's when you should be fearful and you know selling at these prices here but again just showing you what i see another thing that i'm really paying attention to oh what's this oh that's where i showed my uh 
patrons earlier on I sh you know I sent this to them because I like to show them this stuff <clears throat> keep them prepared if you guys want to become a patron you're welcome to do so I have seven tiers take your pick seven tiers I recommend going for my buy sell stake alerts even if my, you're my buy alerts tier or higher because they're seeing things right now that you don't see I'm doing this little mini series teaching them how to find out how to you know buy and sell at the best times you know sell at the top buying at the top and all this kind of stuff you know you're welcome to do so if you want to uh, but yeah the last thing i really want to you know pay your attention to is this the bitcoin dominance now we all know as prices fall you know when bitcoin falls all the rest of the altcoin usually falls with it and it you know works the same way if bitcoin goes up the altcoins tend to go up with it but another thing to really pay attention to is the bitcoin dominance because look it's going down and down it was at 41 percent like 20 minutes ago 10 minutes ago something like that before i started this video i know it's 41 percent because i was watching it and you know when the bitcoin dominance goes down so yeah even though the price falls down the bitcoin dominance comes down with it and what happens usually is uh people take their money out of bitcoin and they put it into altcoins now i'm watching this because i still believe that if we see bitcoin come down to you know that was 37 percent even here at bitcoin's lowest in dominance was 32 percent we still haven't seen that yet in this cycle how low did bitcoin go Bitcoin went as low as, what, 30, 39%, 39.97%. See, we still got this big drop to go down to 30, uh, 32%. And I think it could still happen. And I think when that happens, you know, the money will come out of Bitcoin and people will start throwing it into altcoins again. So that's what I'm looking for. And yeah, obviously, with this fear and greed, you can see down here on this chart, let me just make it max you can see that we, we could have an extra leg up where people start to get greedy again. And I think that's what's going to happen with this further uh, run in the bull cycle because I don't think the bull cycle is over yet, okay? So you can tell I've just woke up. <laughs> My husky voice and, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, okay. You, you right? Yeah, no, I'm just doing a little video. <laughs> I just want to put it in there. Uh, but yeah, I am going to leave it here. Just wanted to show you this stuff. If it was helpful to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching shout out to you guys as well thank you for watching and big up to my patrons you best believe i'm doing this name call i updated it recently so you can hear it now uh <laughs> because i have to clip it in because you know calling your names too many times in a day it can kill me uh but yeah thank you very very much i see you all in these tears big up to you guys i truly appreciate you all and yeah you ready for this long name list <laughs> okay shout out to Mr. T West, Tony Ottery, Glenda, It's Time, Cora Black, Marco Costanti, Michael, AJ, Frank C63, Clarence Dennison, Christopher Johnson, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Stuart Chuckler, Lewis Wilkes, Latasha F, Carlos Rocha, Mr. Tuff, Rocha, yeah, Mr. Tuffu, Dam, hold on, Damaris, Samu Stancox, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG Bizzle, Max, Ke hold on, Wisdom, Marcelo Trevino, Redax Robinson, listen, some people left out Hogwarts Express and coming back on, you know, I can't keep changing the names. Where am I? Uh, Redax Robinson, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Ty Tyron Samuel, Stephen Edward, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Pam Pamela Williams, tongue twist, I ain't cutting it. Keeping it wrong, fresh and organic like Tesco's. Pamela Williams, Saxon Rax, Joff, Joff, <laughs> Rick, Joffrey Williamson, I'm trying to skip myself now. Omar Thomas, Casper Nero, Aaron Davis, CCP269, why ain't this scrolling down? Uh, good feels nice Albert Lynn Dominic uh, Will W Peter Stoddard Belinda Spencer Eric Foreman Semyon Fatima Price Shonda Owens Tana McLaren Josh Wills Marcel SSK Kevin Ward Sassavi Michael Keel Christopher Hoss Chris C Peter Mosa Snowy D Swearing Andrew Hardin Eric Kelvin William Fox SJR Claudette Humiliosa Like Wingardium Leviosa <laughs> It's Leviosa Not Leviosa Just put that in there You know Cl uh, I've already said that <laughs> Shakir Hussain Jeff Tonchich, Paul Lamaru, Lamar Lee Seeley, Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Saru, Alexander Ofori, Gilbert, Gilbert Baggins, Stefan, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Benson Hum, Powell, Russell Cohan, Joseph Marcus, Joshua Mingluna. I yeah, said it right. I usually get the names mixed up. Crypto Mac, Andrew Queen, Give Me the Games, Renex, West AM, Ali, Mo C, Fiat Jessen, Mike V, Joanna Morfavero, Oric M, J Fave, Terry JC, Oli, Elton Rosario, Orville Broomfield, and hold on, hold on. Frank Essa, Nasa. Ignacio, just, just shape up your head with that, you know, <laughs> I don't know, got some kind of scissors, I don't know, what am I talking about, because I, <laughs> I thought about the blade, just, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> G Crypto Lumen 7, Chris Chico, NM That Man, it just sounds like Harry Potter spell, innit, NM That Man, Francis Locker, Zach Cadden, Mansawa, Kieran Phoenix, Jem de Jaguar, Mark, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, Exelios, just <laughs> mash up your head, you know, Stony Mac, John Lowe, Ken Marold, Ranjo Singh, Raffle Cooper, Aiden. Educate a courage. <laughs> Just spin you around a little. <laughs> These 
I swear to you, your names look like spells from Harry Potter. Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Do Right, Anthony Berry, TRG Investments, Brenko De Vasilic, Marky Cersei, hello. Ryan Williams, Ryan, hold on, Ryan Orange, I've got your names mixed up. Toucan, because there's two Ryans. Santino, Rafa Sane, Joel, Joel, I think it's Joel. Crazy Jam, Timothy J. Brusky, uh, Renee, Chris, UKMC, No Name, Jack Slater, Pablo, Bradley Kim, Lina 111. What? I've got to scroll up, let's see. <laughs> got me to the bottom already. Uh, crypto, hold on, Sunny V, Crypto One, Ross Martini, Hanny Abu, Ricardo Vinegas. Vinegas? Yeah. Shinadu. Oscar Vilgas, Crypto Moon, Nightman 911 is new to you. Jackson Tepper, Francis Hernandez, Akbar, Jermaine Allen, David Adeliji, Chiquita, Chiquita, sorry, John Sandoval, Aaron Silo, Chris McClendon, Optimus Poonpage, Edgar Cortez, Angel, Ramil TV, Kirsten, Mr. Drew, yeah, yeah, SNCCC, Malin Daddy Alba, Sander Kampong, Joshua Asher, Darnell D, Black A, Bob Rust, Eloy, Mickey, Mikey, so I keep getting your name wrong. User X2019, Blackstar, Chillers Creations, Akis Voldorus. <laughs> I swear to you, these names, I swear they sound like ever. Anyway, uh, Abid Hussain, Wester's D. Lopez, Michael, Joseph Samara, Neona London, Chris Tap Dancers, Iris, Jack Bliss, Montreal. I told you there was loads. I told, I'm still going. I think I'm halfway. Montreal Amon, Joey J, Raj T, Liesel, Brian Reedy, Islam, Tari, Cornell Goodman, Matthew Walker, Carlos Porter, Sapin Singh, Dennis Boonman, Alessandro Benini, Mark Peak. Elliot Shearer, Royal ID, Teddy Barrel. Wow, I'm still going. Hassan P. Makug Makuga. Is that right? Makuga? Makuga? Yeah. Gordon McCulloch, Monica Matteo, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, uh, Johnny Matthews, Michael James, Arted, Moisters Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. Hello. Rizwan, A. Kings, big up. Ice Cat Trader, Davidus Nomentus. Yeah, that's the one that make you go invisible, isn't it? <laughs> Turn around quick. Davidus Nomentus. <laughs> I'll just see it. Uh, Connie. <laughs> I love it. They, they better bring out a new Harry Potter film because you know that game's coming on PS5 soon, isn't it? A. Alamu, A. Alamu, you know, just, I don't know, make something fly away or something. Williamson Johnson, Anthony Donne, Karen Danick, Kimberly Gearman, uh, All for One, and One for All, Cil Cylinder Tashima, Stefan, Coin Age, and I'm just shouting down my phone. Uh, not my phone, <laughs> my mic, <laughs> put my phone in my hand. Adrian Alanda, PC World. <clears throat> Let me do that again. PC World, nigga, because uh, PC. Marky27, Dave, Chris Adlam, Crypto Newbie, Thomas Rodriguez, Golden Bags, Slow Measy, Noel21. I remember it used to end there. And I'm still going. Trevor Dawson, Jude Tam, Thierry, Joe Youssef, Chucks Anderson, Splurge Ultra, Arif Joy, Kevin Rodriguez, Danny, Danny Rich, Elstein. Is that right? Tefed Swan, Memphis Demphers, Carnivore 444, Morgan Culver, Joe, Kalpashkumar, Josh, nope, <laughs> just make up your name, you know, Jack Sutton, Alexis, Alexis Pagan, Seraf X, I think that's right, Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, Anish Patel, Dean, Aaron, Nova, Mohammed Imran, Ankus Jane, <laughs> are you still sitting here? If you are, please drop a like, because I promise you there's still more to go. I told you these guys came through on Diagon Alley. Uh, where am I? Corey, Mario L, Vanessa Small, Elijah Alendi, I think that's right, let me know, Aland, Ni Nika Onyu, Moinu Hussain, Andrew Lara, hold on, Andrew Laramie, there you go, Nadine Jordan, Eddie Laforme, Tony B, D Wills, Riyad Midikasso, Mandy Nguyen, Hashimatala, Michael Ruddy, Will Brooks, I'm still seeing it. Josh, John Wesley, Sura, Sura Rashid, Eamon Deep Whaler, Masik Soul. Listen, I gotta go it down again. Masik Soul, Master J, Daniel Brand, Leon Plast, DG Crypto, Adam uh, Istvan, uh, Theodore Wheaton, LD, Vincent Millet, uh, Mauricio, I think that's right, A Noop uh, N, Rev Rav, Steve Hayar. A <laughs> I can't believe I'm still calling your names. A, um, a man. A man with me? Listen, that's how long it's been. I called your name. <laughs> Janetta, Legend Charles Knight, Asa Jones, Gabriel Vince McDowell. I think that's right. Uh, Duns River, Carrie, Gilbo Blaggins. I'm sure there was a. I'm sure. Uh, Jack, R Jake Rock. Is there two of them? I don't know. Is that like a special name or saying? Jake Ross, Cookie Crumbs. Cookie. <laughs> Can't help it. Christian Lee, Philip, Philip Staffa. Okay, this one's hard. Oise, Oiseanatio. Cham Jello, Fund Me Now, Crypt, Crypt Dive, Cl Klondike Penny Feather, Maha Ramadan, Fears Ahead, oh, I'm slowing down now, Fears Ahead, Brandon 10X, big up to you man, Jim, Harsha, uh, Bent Henson, Dan, Dan <laughs> the names, Daniel Grigu, I think that's right, Idol Piper, Shari T, Shari T Zostek, uh, Deshana Vation, Mustafa, Skylark, all tight DJ Skylark, we're in a place for the DJ Skylark. <laughs> 
listen, big up to you. I know who you are. Uh, Liz Reed, L. Bengrad, Mike Van Tilburg, the A team slash something else. I can't see the full name. Uh, Jacob Madaris. No. Yeah, Madaris. Let me know. Uh, Landlord Morrison, Nichols Do It. Is that right? Do It? Yeah. Dave Catho, Richard Harmer, Kyle Dawson, Dennis, JP De- Deleen. I think that's right. Let me know. V Flash, Michael Catlett. Catlett, yeah. Joey Shawns, Akeem Banks, Michelle Van Den Acker. What's going on? Uh, Rosemary Henson, Justin Levin. Listen, I don't mean to slow down, but there's too many of you. I'm almost there, though, I promise. If you're still here, drop another like. Justin Levin, Via, via Financial, uh, Raycorn. I think that's right. Rush Paul Sandhu. Okay, here we go. Newish names ish. I can't remember. Mr. Pauniti, Massey, uh, Tonye Adikibi, uh, Seer Coins, Brandon, James Richards, Laurent Corvillain, 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 there you go. Kasha Smith, Soul Seeker. Like, what's going on, my thing? Why ain't it scrolling down? Uh, here we go. Where am I? Theodis, Rossi D, Paulo Baptista, yeah, Renton Baco, Kevin Chack. Hold on, Inigo Zubieri, I think that's it, Zubieri, let me know, uh, Stefan Grunfeld, yeah, because it's like German, isn't it, I think it's German anyway, let me know, I'm not sure, RGC, Visual, Lee Goodwin, Jiba, yeah, Kevin Konitsky, yep, Matthew Wan, Tristan Miles, hold on, I'm almost there, John Hung, Saif Rahman, I knew a Saif, back in Portsmouth, you don't, I don't, is that you, let me know, May Revel, May Revel, Laurie Littrop, Alicia, uh, Abagas and okay, is this Gima Wambugu? Wambugu? Let me know. Whoa, what a name call list! That's mad, crazy, ludicrous. But you had me sitting there for about ten minutes. I see you all. Thank you so much. And <laughs> if you were still here, if you're still here, they became patrons because they see things you don't see. You know, I help them. They see my buy sell stake alerts. And yeah, if you are someone that's just unsure. And when to take profits and stuff, become a patron. Seven tiers, take your pick. I recommend my buy sell stake alerts, you know, because this crypto market's gonna fall on your face again, proper. Like we go, well, I still think we're in the bull market, but it's gonna fall on your face again at some point. And you know, these guys are gonna know when I'm taking profits, and I'm gonna try and aim for the highest point. And I'm teaching them how to know when to take it at the top. You best believe, because they're seeing videos that you're not seeing. So if you want to see them, make sure you become in the uh, buy alert tier or higher. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.